this ride. family from Israel and with all of you, Jewish community from Kansas City. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Edom Mizrahi, Combat Engineering Officer, Spatial Forces IDF. I've been serving the Army for almost 18 years, from Private to Lieutenant Colonel. And married to Noah, we have a gorgeous one-year-old daughter, Amit. Four and foremost, I would like to thank you all for the support the state of Israel. Your support and care are highly cherished now, every day, and especially these days, as our boys defend not only Israel and Jews, but they are nothing less than the front line in the fight of humanity against evil. The current escalation in Gaza Strip is nothing less than fight over both our homeland and homes. The only option is to fight back and win. There is no plan B. This is a long-lasting battle between two sides with fundamental perspective gap between them. On one side stands the state of Israel, the only nation home for the Jewish people and the only real democracy in the Middle East, a democracy which respects human rights, people dignity, which promotes equality and pluralism. Throughout the history of the State of Israel, we prove in so many ways that we accept people from who, for whom they are and that we are always willing to help those in need. The people of Israel already demonstrated so much times how far they are willing to go for peace, as painful as consent will be. On the other side is the Hamas, a terrorist organization which terrorized not only Israelis and Jews, but also Palestinians, a flesh of their flesh. Its formal goal is to destroy the state of Israel, but make no mistake, his dispute with us is not territorial, but ideological. Hamas is connected to the axis of evil, Iran, Syria, and Hezbollah, which has spared destroy Israel and the Jewish from whom they are. Hamas claimed to be the government of the Palestinian people but is doing nothing to protect them or to defend them. Since 2001, Hamas has fired more than 14,000 rockets and territorized 3.5 million people with missiles, rockets, and mortars. And I'm sure you all remember we have withdrawal from the Gaza Strip in 2005, while they have taken over Gaza Strip in violent and vicious car, and invested all their money and their efforts in military buildup instead of ensuring prosperity and well-being for the Palestinian. And though their ideology reminds us darker times, it is different now. It is different because now we have our state and the IDF which are committed to protect the citizens of Israel, wherever they are. When my grandfather, Yitzhak Shechter, immigrated to Israel from Czechoslovakia in 1940, he had to leave his family behind. He had no protection, 
in his hometown, nor in Israel. Today we do. We are witnessing difficult sins. We grieve the death of our brave warriors, and we grieve the death of Palestinian civilians. However, our best soldiers and commanders stand in the first line, risking their lives, while the Hamas used children and women as a human shield. While we shield our children, they are shielded by them. They shoot from schools, they hide in hospitals, they use mosques as uh, weapon tablets. They are inhuman. Every Israeli soldier killed is the lost of a whole world. They are our great prey and a big part of our ethos. Words cannot describe the way we feel about this great loss. Only two days ago, the unit I was its commander lost Staff Sergeant Galvason, a soldier, a soldier in a tunnel unit in a battle near Rafiq. We lost our best soldiers and commanders in battles, and many more are wounded. I wish to send our condolence to the family, to the families of the fallen soldiers, and wish full recovery to our wounded soldiers. Amen. Amen. As the combat engineer, Special Forces commander, I came across the tunnel threat more than once. Under my commandment, soldiers were wounded and killed while trying to find and destroy terror tunnels in Gaza. The difficulties are vast. Locating the tunnels, scanning them, kill the terrorists within them, and destroy the tunnels. As a proud officer, the IDF, I would like to share with you that whilst being here physically, my mind and soul are with the excellent soldiers of the IDF in Gaza Street. We are stronger, we are better, we believe in rightness of our goal, and God is in our side. Together, we will win. Let us pray for days of peace and quiet, for the success of the idea of soldiers, and for the safety and well-being of the people of Israel. Thank you very much. Amen.